Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my review of the Olight Seeker 2. Yes, you are at the We All Juggle Knives channel. Right before the review, I have to notify you, in the text description box, there will be details of the Olight Flash sale that they're having. Huge discount, huge discount over the, uh, under the normal price of this light, all right? They requested I not release any review until near the day of the sale. So that day has come. Check the text description box. There's a lot of details, a lot of benefits and bonuses you can get. And there is a link to their website and the sale as well. So check that out. And here are the stats on the light. So the maximum lumens, 3,200. It's got five brightness levels. You see the maximum beam distance, 250 meters. You can also see run times there. And it does have a strobe mode as well. Here's a closer look at the light itself. Provides a very good grip. It has a magnetic base, so you know you can stick it places. It's got three lenses, which are TIR lenses. This comes with many accessories. Here is the sheath. As you can see, the back is like that. It's got a nice buckle here. It's a pretty nice sheath. It also comes with this recharging cable. It also comes with this, which is an L-Dock, as well as mounting hardware. And it comes with this diagram, but essentially that is the L-Dock, and that is if you, again, you just want to mount it somewhere. That's very convenient, but you do not have to use that station uh, to recharge it. You can just use uh, the recharging cable and the magnetic uh, base that that comes with. And here is the full list of accessories. So you got the holster, the hardware, the L-Dock, microfiber cloth, user manual, and the charging cable. It also does come with a very high quality battery. This is all operated by the side switch. To turn it on, press the side switch. To turn it off, press the side switch. It does have mode memory except for the turbo mode and the strobe. When the light is off, if you long press, you will shortcut to the lowest mode which they call moon mode. If you hold that down, you will cycle through low, medium, and high. Let's do that now. If you double tap, you will shortcut to turbo. All right, it's going to be bright. Yeah, you'll see these better when we go outside for the demo. All right, but that's the turbo. If you triple tap, you will get to strobe. All right, warning, strobe is coming. And there you go. You'll see that better outside, too. Now, one interesting feature is two displays on either side. That is the uh, battery life remaining display. And it'll give you from one to four, from one to four green lights. All right, so let's, when you turn it on, it'll just automatically uh, tell you how much is left in the battery. And let's, let's uh, try that out now. All right, so you see that? Wait, hold on. There you go. It's hard to see with my studio lights, but you see these green lights here. It's giving you three lights, right? And that'll, that turns off after a few seconds, but that indicates uh, the battery life remaining. Now, the other side, that will indicate what mode you are in. All right, so let's demonstrate that now. Right, so you are in the high mode because you got three of those green lights. If I double tap to turbo, now you have four. If I cycle down to the low mode, medium, and high. So that tells you exactly what mode you're in, so there's no guesswork. Now this light recharges the battery inside the light. In order to do that, you take the recharging cable. This is magnetic, as is this. All right, it just goes like that. You plug that into any USB power source. This is just a power bank, right? And now that will glow red. Right, you see that? See that red there? When it's recharging, it will be red. When it finishes recharging, it will be green. Now let's check out the battery. To gain access, just unscrew the tail cap here. This uses a 21700 battery, and this is it. Yes, and uh, I mean, look at that capacity, very high capacity battery. It will have a lot of endurance. 
Yeah, my previous model of Olight Seeker used this large battery, and this is the one in the newest model. And note, the new one has higher capacity, and it's, it's not as uh, wide, so they don't have to make the light as chunky. So that's a great improvement. And here are those two side by side, right? So you see the Seeker 2, it's around the same length, but they've been able to make it uh, a lot slimmer. All right, at this time I'm going to roll in a highlight reel of demonstration and testing footage that I did outside, see this light in action, and then we'll come back for uh, final conclusions. All right, that is the lowest mode on the old testing board. I'm going to cycle through. All right, so that is the low mode. That's the medium. This is the high mode. And get ready for turbo. Wow. That is a crazy bright turbo mode. All right, warning, strobe. We got a strobe incoming. And that's the strobe. All right, now, uh, earlier tonight, there was actually a deer over there, and I did get a little footage of that. So let me roll in the footage uh, of the deer from earlier. Yeah, very good range. Let's, uh, let's zoom in. I see a critter. And there is the deer lit up with this O light. It is quite far away because I'm up in the, I'm up in the second story window. Uh, you can see there's there's a lot of stuff in the air, but I'm way like I'm way back here. And you can see it's a, this is what you see without light, nothing. Yeah, it lights up that entire yard. Check that out. All right, let's let, let's zoom in a little more. And there is the deer just chewing. Yeah, you can see that. Even with all this uh, debris and haze in the air, even with like a ton of humidity in the air. All right, YouTube, I'm on the sports field. We got one goal right here, and this is the uh, opposite goal. Hold on, let me try and focus. A lot of atmospheric interference. Okay, you see when I bounce the light off the ground, I mean, it lights up the whole field, right? And there is the other goal. So this can cross the field. Now I'm not going to zoom in because there's uh, so much stuff in the air, the camera can't focus if I zoom in. But even, even zoomed all the way out, you can see that goal. All right, here's, yeah, so that is some good range from this Olight, a lot. I mean, look how much of the field it lights up. Okay, YouTube, I'm standing on the bridge overlooking the lake. Here is the lake. And I have found some more animals. See them? Yeah, I see these uh, waterfowl. Okay, I just got a little better uh, vantage point so you can see them more closely. Nice. I wasn't expecting this. I was just expecting to show you the lake. But yeah. Okay, YouTube, I'm going to go down this trail because I think I can get a bit closer to the wildlife and maybe get a better shot. Now, this is really good for lighting your path. This is only the medium setting, right? If you want to see the, the uh, highest setting, yeah. Wow, so that, yeah, so I don't need it that bright, just for walking. Hold on. Okay, so I can see them right now. Hold on. Nice. 
And where's those other ones? Yeah, there they are. Wow, well, well, it's just like pretty peaceful out here. The middle of the night. Huh. Beauty of nature. And it's about 3.30, so there's no one around except for these, uh, these critters. Yeah, look at them all. And I'm just on the, I'm just on the path, right? Now look at them all. They're like in formation. Wow, all equally spread out. Yeah, don't bunch up. <laughs> well, all right, YouTube, I hope you enjoy uh, trekking around and seeing what we can see with this Olight. All right, YouTube, we're on the road with no lights. Here's a top view beam shot of the uh, this Olight. All right, so you see that river of light. All right, YouTube, here we are overlooking Frog Creek. Yes, no video would be complete without the Frog Creek scene. The opposite bank, the trees, the treetops. This thing is very good for lighting up a scene. Can we see the water? Yeah, you can see every bubble down there. I'm up on the banks of the creek. Yeah, so there you go, YouTube. The Olight at Frog Creek. All right, YouTube, I am walking back to my vehicle. All right now, you see these indicator lights. Hold on, let me, uh, let me just change the uh, brightness level so that they'll light up. So you see I'm getting two green lights for the battery. You know, or two and a half, it looks like. All right, now, I've been testing this light, like, the heck out of this light since yesterday and all night tonight. And I've been using the turbo mode way more than you normally would. Way more than you normally would. So it's amazing. Let me just, let me just change the thing so I'll see. It's amazing that it still has that much battery life left. That battery has tremendous capacity, because like I said, I've been taxing the crap out of this using the turbo mode, seeing how hot it would get. You, would, you wouldn't use the turbo mode for more than 20, 30 seconds at a time, like in normal situations. But I've been using that turbo, and it still has a lot of juice left. Yeah, you see those indicator lights. And can it still hit the turbo mode? Well, this is the high mode, so let's see. Hold on. Wait a second, let me turn it off. Yes, it can still hit the turbo mode even uh, with the battery, you know, taxed like that. Hey YouTube, what's up? I'm still walking. I turned off the camera for a while. Why the heck did I... Why the heck did I park so far from Frog Creek? <laughs> I've been walking for like 10 minutes, but uh, yeah, I haven't been there in a while because we've had a lot of freezing rain and then just regular rain, so I couldn't film there. So I kind of forgot how long this, this road is. This road has no houses on it, so I can talk as loud as I dang want, and it's not gonna disturb anybody. No houses, no lights. All right, I see my vehicle up in the distance. All right, I'll catch you back at the review table, YouTube. And we are back. I hope you enjoyed that demonstration footage. So I gotta say, the Seeker series from Olight is without a doubt my favorite, my favorite Olight series, my favorite, uh, product line that they have. I have, this is the fourth in that series that I own. And the previous one, uh, my Olight uh, Pro Seeker LE, that's actually my 
uh, every night carry light. That's of all the flashlights I own, that's the one that I actually carry. Um, I went from, to tell you the truth, I went from a, a four sevens, uh, kind of keychain mini what years and years ago. I switched to an Eagle tack from there. I switched to a zebra light and from there I switched to the Olight uh, Seeker series, and I'm still there, and this is going to be an upgrade to uh, my every night carry light because this is the same amount of lumens, it's got the same range, but uh, the battery has better capacity, and this is easier to carry because it's slimmer and more streamlined. Now, is there anything you need to know about this, any potential drawbacks? Well, it does get hot in the turbo mode. I want that to be clear. It does get pretty hot pretty fast. You have to consider that turbo mode to be a burst mode. But there are times when, you know, 20 or 30 seconds of massively bright light uh, is what you need, right? And even the high mode is uh, blindingly bright if you were to, uh, you know, shine it at a potential perpetrator or something, right? So even the high mode is very bright. So yeah, uh, be careful of the heat. Now this will, it will uh, reduce power, right? The minimum lumens for the turbo mode is 600, right? That's the minimum, right? So it will, it will reduce uh, the power to just to keep it safe, to keep you safe, but it still gets very hot. Uh, in fact, when I was testing this one night, the temperature dipped below freezing. Strange for spring, this, uh, you know, where I am, but it dipped below freezing, so I just put this in the turbo mode for a, you know, a longer time, and I used it as a hand warmer. I do have gloves, but I cannot operate my camera while I'm wearing the gloves. So I actually, you can actually use this as a hand warmer, right, if you're in a colder area. And keep in mind it comes with all those accessories. It comes with the battery, it comes with the uh, L-Dock, it comes with the charging cable. It's, it's just very convenient. The sheath is nice as well, right? So you get the full package built into that price. You don't have to buy a separate lithium ion battery or anything like that, All right? So factor that into the price, All right? So check the text description box for all the um, information on the sale. And yeah, I hope a lot of people, you should get in on that. Olights are pricey, but you know, people say, oh, you're paying for a name. Well, how did they get that name? They, nobody gives it to you. Nobody gives it to you. You got to earn that. So if you pay for a name, how did they get that name? Well, to, to be honest with you, they brought on board a lot of, uh, a lot of the tactical experts on YouTube, the gun experts, uh, guys who have been in combat, guys who teach police and so forth, people who have actually been in a gunfight at night, right? And, uh, yeah, a lot of those people recommend Olights, and those, they carry weight, right? So they're not just selling it to a, like, like a person like myself who's basically a flashlight nerd. They're not just selling it to a flashlight nerd. They're selling it to the tens of millions of uh, firearms owners in America. So that is why they can command and get those prices, because people feel it is worth it. They've been demonstrated by... Uh, people with a lot of weight in the community, and, you know, there, there's no way you can buy that. You have to earn that. So I do recommend this light. Hope you enjoyed the video. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.